to the newsroom, the heart of this operation. We count on the internet and the cloud to bring you this show every night. You count on those things too. You're probably surrounded by connected devices right now. Your cell phone, maybe a smartwatch, a smart TV, or one of those voice activated devices like Amazon's Alexa. All of that requires computer servers that can handle a ton of work, and that means data centers. They keep us connected, but they're dividing communities. Yeah, we are zeroing in on Virginia here, but you just heard why this issue affects you, us, no matter where you are tonight. Loudoun County leads the world in data centers. According to the county, there's been data center construction every day for the last 13 years. Well, tonight, Prince William County is debating getting in on this game. Their council gaveled into session three and a half hours ago to hear neighbors' thoughts before a final vote. Yeah, and that meeting is still going on right now. Our Katie Lesso is live outside of it. Katie. Yeah, and that meeting began at 7.30 tonight. Well, just at 10.36 p.m., that is when they finally began the public comment section. That was about 30 minutes ago. Well, let me tell you something. Inside this building, there is a room full of people waiting to have their voices heard. More than 200 people signed up in person and 100 plus more signed up online to have their voices heard. The chamber full with both supporters and opponents of the Prince William Digital Gateway. The plan includes transforming 2139 acres of land along Pageland Lane into 27 million square feet of data centers. At its core, it's a debate about preserving green space versus development. Some board members question the plan without digital gateway. We can get to 48 million square feet without even needing digital gateway. And some in the crowd echoed that. There's almost 48 million square feet of data center development that hasn't been built yet. This is totally unnecessary. These two are members of the coalition to protect Prince William County. Been fighting 20 years to protect the Royal Crescent and we're not going to give up now. It is not environmentally progressive to destroy your watershed or your hallowed ground. But this Dale City resident also wants his voice heard. Taking time out of my busy schedule just to come here. He's all for this plan. There is technology to take care of it to make sure our watershed is safe. And think about all the revenue that Prince William County is going to collect and how we'll be able to prosper. While he hopes the board approves, if it does, these two say it doesn't end here. This is just a battle in this war. And if they want war, they've got it. Now, as for when this will all wrap up, well, I did the math just a few moments ago, and if every single person who signed up to speak does take their turn and uses the max time they're given of three minutes. We are talking at least 19 hours of public comment. So we are talking about a very long night and overnight ahead. And then after all of that is done, that is when they will make that vote. We are in Prince Williams County. I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9. It could be a very long night and a very early morning for a lot of people. Katie, thank you. This is only the beginning there in Prince William County. Yeah.